you will only need your favorite kind of potato and one red onion. And then um, if you want to use any spices, the spices of your choice. And for me today, it was garlic powder and rosemary, but other times it's something different. So today I had these little uh, potatoes. Other times I use other kinds. It could be, you know, any kind. And I'm going to, AJ says, cut them in as small pieces as possible. I cut them a little bit bigger than other times. Um, you could definitely cut them even smaller than this. Okay, but um, what I'm going to do this time so that they are soft in the inside, this is not in Chef AJ's recipe. This is something that I am telling you what, what I do. So that they're soft on the inside and crispy on the outside, I will give them a quick boil. So here's the red onion. You wanna cut the onion two or three times larger than the potatoes because the onion takes less time to cook. And if you cut them the same size, you will end up with burned onions. If you don't like onions, then don't put them, don't put it, just put potatoes with the, um, with, um, the spices, or maybe add a red pepper, bell pepper, or um, some maybe some broccoli florets. I don't know. So any any other vegetable. I think uh, peppers would be great. So here's boiling water. I'm going to put my potatoes there for about four minutes, and maybe five. Watch out. You don't want them to get so soft that they will become mashed potatoes <laughs> and um, they're ready five minutes have gone up gone by and I'm going to drain them and I will put them back in the pan and I will add my two spices that I use today other times I use more than that or I use a combination um, but I'm going to put some garlic powder. I, I put a good amount, probably a tablespoon. And then at least a tablespoon, if not more, of this uh, rosemary. You can see that it's in big uh, leaves. You can see the leaves, but I am crushing, crushing them, and it smells very good. So I'm going to cover it and give it a few quick and strong shakes. Why? Well, because the potatoes release some of the starch and it coats them and it makes them crispier. And um, <clears throat> this is something that is called the crisp ease tray. These are amazing because these trays go like that in the oven and the heat goes through you don't have to turn them and um, they come out very 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 crispy so i'm going to put the chopped on onions on that and this is going to go in the oven which is pretty hot at 425 degrees fahrenheit for at least 30 minutes we say at least because it depends on how crunchy you want them you may want to leave them for 40 or 45 minutes you can buy those trays in amazon i think that's where i got them 